Okay, so we are going to have a little bit of fun in PowerPoint. And one of the cool things I really like about PowerPoint is its ability to create very visual slides. So we're not going to be looking at lots and lots of words and bullet points and all that sort of stuff, okay? No, we're going to be looking at the visual aspect and see how we can actually do a few things in PowerPoint that you probably did not know was possible. One of those things is the removing the, of a background of a picture. So let me explain what I mean. Here you can see I have a, a lovely garden and that's not my garden, I wish it was. And uh, I'm going to then put a picture of somebody in this garden. So I went around and I looked at some pictures and I found one. There he is. I have no idea who that is, okay? If you know who that is, could you tell me? Uh, I would say Ronaldo, but I don't know. He looks a bit, I don't know, like not Ronaldo. Anyway, so there you can see I have a picture of a person playing football, soccer, whatever, okay? And I'm going to put that person in my garden, but you can obviously see like there's a whole lot of stuff around and behind it that I don't want. So let's see what we do. So if I put him in the garden, that's what it looks like. And you go, yep, we're done. We're not done, man. Look at that. That's a mess. We need to fix this picture up. So step one crop the picture. Crop any parts of the picture that you do not need. So my picture is here. Double click. Double click and you can see I have a crop section right over there. So I'm going to click on crop. Okay I've got my crop handles now and I can just sort of click and drag down. So you want to get as much of the background out of the way as possible. Okay so I don't want to crop his leg off. That would be terrible. Sorry buddy. And there that looks pretty good. Just click outside of that. Good. Now we're getting closer. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what we're doing. Now let's see. Okay. The next thing that you can do is use the Remove Background Tool. And that is so cool, guys. I still have my picture selected. Do you see? I've got my little dots everywhere. And Or, if you forgot about that, double click the picture, okay? Here in my ribbon, I've got a Remove Background Tool. So I click on remove background and that's what it's going to do first you're like whoa what the heck don't freak out man just follow me follow me we have two options areas that we want to keep and areas that we want to remove so let's have a look at the areas we want to keep okay so well i definitely want to keep his shirt over there yep that's a good one keep that part of the shirt there good and it's finding more colors as i go along so it's filling in the gaps for me which is really nice we've lost his hand so i'm just going to click and draw over his hand that's pretty good oh his arm he's armless <laughs> okay sorry and back to there back to there so far so good let's just do a little bit down here do you see what i'm doing guys i'm just sort of clicking just dragging a little bit Selecting the colors and the, sh the areas where I would like to keep. Okay, we've got to keep his hair. Okay, good job. I think we're pretty good. I, I, I don't think we're going to miss anything else. Sorry, a little bit of his sock there. That looks pretty good. Don't you think so? I think so. And so I'm going to say keep changes. Keep changes. So I keep changes. Hey, hey, this is not bad. Okay, I did mess up his shoe a little bit there, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to just make him a little bit smaller. And uh, hey, there you go. I have a footballer playing football in my garden. Cool. With that in mind, you can now take this picture and put it into other scenarios because you've taken away the background. So, for example, uh, he could be, uh, you know, chasing a lady running with her baby in a pram that could be cool i even gave him a shadow that was pretty cool <laughs> he could be um dancing or playing around with this guy on a fence i mean that looks real doesn't it yeah it does and oh, oh i love that oh, he could be at the old age home like dancing with all the the old people you know he could be like hey this is so cool guys haha <laughs> keep the music going okay no probably not okay anyway my point is that you can take an image that has a sort of a generic or very blurry background perhaps or a monocolored background or a homogenous background okay and you can then cut that background away and have just the image of the person there all right let's have a look at another example i'm going to show you another example now in a different presentation something slightly more serious well serious for me anyway have a look
here I have a new presentation and it's on one of my favorite things coffee yes coffee talking about coffee oh I mean what else do you want to talk about this is great and here you can see I have a title slide great I have my next slide great coffee beans cup and presentation and what I'm gonna do is I've got three in fact I'm gonna just delete that one so we can work with that I've got three pictures I've got this picture here that I found of coffee beans. You can see it's got this big white space. So we're gonna figure that out in a minute. I've got this picture here of just a cup with, uh, looks like tar, but that's coffee. Okay, and then we have another one where, ooh, coffee and beans and some steam and of course big fat background there. It's actually not a black background. It's like a brown red going into black. So we're gonna have to work with that one. Let's have a look and see what we can do using the skills I showed you in uh, a few minutes ago. So I'm going to take this image here and I'm going to just make a copy of it. Control C. I'm going to go here and control V for paste. Control C for copy. Control V for paste. I'm going to resize this here just a little bit there. Resize. There we go. Cool. And what did I say first? Crop. Crop, crop, crop. Don't forget if you don't see crop, double click on your picture. Okay. So I'm going to crop this. Crop what I don't want. So I don't want... Um, hmm, I don't want that. There we go. Cool. Just click outside of that. Time to take away this background of the white. So let's go remove background. Let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, that's nasty. So let's just zoom in a little bit. Okay, let's see what we're doing. There we go. I'm going to just zoom in and the mark areas that we want to keep. Let's do that first. Mark areas that we want to keep. So, well, I mean, I want to keep all of this. So all of this around here, down there, down there, down there, down there, down there. Let's see what it does. Oh, man, this is going to take a while. So you see, hit and miss here, guys. you got to just keep trying. Keep trying. There you go. A little bit more there. A little bit more there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice. We're getting there. Getting there almost nice okay great so I'm gonna just finish off the beans that I still want to keep and then I'll show you how we get rid of the areas that we don't want to keep okay so watch this space cool so as you can see what I have done I have added the beans I just went and and used the markers to keep and I just drew a little little lines just over those beans just to keep those beans okay because you got to have the beans man and I can see that there are little spots or spaces of white so I'm going to use the mark areas to remove tool now to remove those spaces of white now don't work like this okay you've got to zoom in a bit so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and uh, it does get a little tricky okay so you've got to like take it slow there we go zoom in a bit there oh my goodness so uh, that was a little bit close wasn't it okay here we go so I'm going to click and I want to remove remove that area let's see what happens okay that's fine don't stress about the beans that disappear okay in this situation uh, the picture is a very very tricky picture so I'm not going to worry too much about that I'm not too worried about the rest. The rest we can maybe get away with. I'm just going to click. I just clicked in that space over there. And uh, yes, it selected the rest there. Just click in that space over there. And it'll also select a little bit of space there. Perfect. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. So keep all changes. Yes. Keep changes. Cool. Let's have a look. I'm going to zoom out. Oh, that is nice, guys. Check it out. Check it out. So I can take that. And that's actually pretty darn good. I can now put that somewhere, you know, like, I don't know, put it there. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure it out, like, maybe turn it around. Whoops, sorry. I'm just going to turn it around. Okay, watch this, watch this. I'm going to click, drag it around there. That's cool. Pop it over there. Pop it over there. I don't know what I'm doing. There, just like, something like that pretty good so from a big picture with all that white on the side we just use the remove background to take that so let's look at the next one okay I'm gonna do the same thing now this one should be a lot easier I'm just control C for copy okay back over here control V for paste now the reason this will be easier um, think about it you can see it's got a very very similar color all the way around that's a big help okay that'll help a lot first let's crop what we don't need crop what we don't need here we go here we go that's pretty good it's gonna be a little tricky if it's got a shadow on the cup I saw there's a shadow there but hey let's see what we can do huh 
remove background oh my goodness me this needs some help mark areas to keep all right i want to keep the cup okay cup is kind of important here all right now i'm doing this very roughly and very quickly because yeah i don't have time in this video to really get into it there we go okay good mark used to remove i don't want you I don't want you normally i would zoom right in and then you can really pick the spots that you want okay keep the changes it's close enough for me just to make that a little bit smaller great there we are do you see what's happening guys it's pretty cool isn't it and of course the last one let's have a look control c and control v pop that in over there and you know what? that's pretty big um we need to resize that a bit so i'm just going to go right up to the corner there let's bring it down a bit okay remove background let's see what we can do hmm that's a really good start that is a really good start i'm going to click over here and take this cup handle i mean you can't hold it without a handle and you know, I, I, I'm kind of liking this just as is. I mean, I could try and add all of the this like cloth here, and you know, I could I could really sort of go for it. Let's just see if it works. Not bad, not bad. Let's keep going, keep going. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it. Eh? Let's just do. Oh, look at that! I'm not going to try to do the smoke because it's so fine. It's going to keep bits and pieces of the other. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to say keep changes that is pretty cool check how cool this looks guys let's just pop that in over there loose my mouse point of it okay no oh super cool very very nice and so there you go there's a more practical way of using your remove background tool okay